Intensity. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. A little background on the video that you just saw in the intro there. That was 415 pounds. I did six reps. To a lot of people, 415 might not be heavy. For me, I hadn't touched that in years, so I was nervous, hence why I had the spotter. However, what you don't see in the video is the fact that that was the 10th set of six reps. So I started at 225 pounds. Every single set, every minute, I went up 20 pounds and I did it again, and I did it again, and I did it again, and that was my last set there at 415. It wasn't all that difficult. I think I could have went up a little bit, but that's why I wanna show you guys intensity. I wanna talk to you guys about doing whatever it takes in the gym. If you really are serious about your results, and I mean actually serious, because I get a lot of people that come up to me and ask me like, you know, I'm not getting the results I want or this or that. It's a bunch of complaints and I've seen them work out and no offense, their workouts, they're not intense. They're not intense enough. And I've seen a lot of YouTube comments. I've seen a lot of the culture in the gym. Just, it's a bunch of snowflakes. Just to be, just to call it what it is, it's a bunch of soft people patting each other on the back for being soft and that, that's the crude way to put it. I'm just telling you what you gotta hear. What you need to hear is that. That's, you don't need to hear like, oh yay, like everyone gets a trophy. This is fun, lifting is fun. It's not fun, okay? People think that lifting legs is fun for me because my legs are big. No, mm -mm. it sucks. It's my least favorite day and I hate it. You know, you hear a lot about train smarter instead of harder, take it easy. That all to me just sounds like you're mentally weak. You're mentally not tough enough. When when the set gets hard, I think Arnold said this. I mean, everybody said this. Anyone with a brain has said this. Once the set gets really tough, right, and you wanna stop, that's when the reps start to count. And there's a reason people say that. Because up until that point, up until the soreness, up until the part where you wanna quit, you're not, you're not, your muscle's not in like danger. It's not, um, it's not going to grow, right? Because the whole reason your body says, ow, that hurts, stop, is because it thinks it's, it's getting hurt, right? Which kind of, I guess it is, because you're tearing the muscle down because you want bigger muscles, right? So if you don't push past that, you're never gonna grow. If you just go in and you kinda like, oh, it's, it's fun time with my friends, like that's fine too, that is, but don't expect to grow because you won't. Before we get into training intensely, I just want to, I'm gonna show some clips from a guy that I really like watching, his name is Regan Grimes. I just wanna clarify that people are going to say, well, Mike, that's overtraining. There's a reason that they say don't go that hard because it's overtraining. No, 100%, I think you're wrong. And here's the thing. Is overtraining a thing? Yes, overtraining is a thing. But 99% of you watching this video right now have never even come close. For years, I haven't seen anybody train as intense as I'm about to show you in any normal gym, right? And if, and it, like, to no fault of your own, if you're around that all the time, then that's what you think, you know, you might see someone that lifts heavier and say that's training intense, but it's not, you know? So I don't fault you for that, you just don't know. But overtraining, like I said, it is a thing, but you need to realize that to reach actual true overtraining is like insane. The things you would have to do is absolutely insane. Moving on. Before I share these few clips with you guys about Regan, I just want to give you two reasons why. Number one, the dude is, well, I guess three reasons why. Number one, this dude, He's a really down to earth dude, he's really cool. If you watch his channel, uh, Regan Grimes, I'll link the videos down below so you guys can check out the full video if you're interested. He is such a good dude, like just overall. And number two is because he trains intense. The third reason is because it's so important to note here that Regan is, I think in the arm clips, I think he's about two or three weeks out and in the leg day clip, he is 11 days out. If you haven't competed before, when you're 11 days out, he probably has little to zero carbs. And when you see this leg workout, it's amazing because most people, and Regan himself, I'm sure, 100%, without carbs, you're feeling run down, you feel tired. It's, it is a workout to get up and go to the bathroom because that's how tired you are. And I'm not even kidding you. I know guys that, 
compete that literally will take the last week of competition prep off from work because they have so little energy. So that's why I wanted to show you these videos because it's even more so, right? Because imagine Regan on his full diet, on his full 110%, right? I'm just saying, if he can do it, you can do it. This is your whole workout right here. If this set isn't a champion set, then the whole workout doesn't count. Okay? Okay? Yeah. So right there, Zane says, if this set isn't a champion set, then the whole workout doesn't count. And that is the mentality you need to have. Because, let me explain here, a workout, just like everything else, is only as good as your weakest set, right? So if all your sets are great and you end on a bad note, your workout was trash. And that's how I've been taught for many, many years. And that's exactly what you see and hear here. Is Regan has been, now I know you guys haven't seen the entire video, so this is like probably real time 20 minutes into just destroying his legs. If you see it, it was back to back to back. Like there was no rest. This is supposed to be a 25 minute leg workout. And as you can see, he's dead, right? But Zane is telling him, hey, this is the finale. Like this is where you finish it. If you finish strong, the workout's a success. If you don't, it was a waste. And that's true because you can't go hard, 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 hard. And then at the very end of the workout, be like, uh, whatever, I'll finish it up. It doesn't work like that. You got to get in the zone here. When I say more reps, you got to, I want you to fall over if you can't get them. I'm going to grab them. There, Zane mentions he wants Regan to fall over. He wants him to go to failure. He wants to get he wants to go there. You got to go there. You have to be willing to go there. You don't have to go to failure every single exercise of every single workout. But at the end there, or like if you have a coach or a trainer or your, your workout plan and you are going to failure, you need to go to failure. And I'm not talking about like, oh, it hurts. I failed. No. And you know this because your mind will play tricks on you. It plays on me too. Your mind will say, I'm done. I'm done. Like every rep. I'm done. I'm done. You're not done. Keep going done isn't done done is when you can't lift the weight anymore and you're gonna die like that's when you're done that's when you're done when you physically can't push the weight or pull the weight or whatever that's when you're done that's what failure means failure doesn't mean like mm, this is uncomfortable i think i'm done you got the genetics <clears throat> that nobody has now train like nobody does come on shit okay okay yep big breath <gasps> Hold your breath, get down. Nope. Drive. Big breath. Hold. Drive. Good. Fuck. Come on. Look in the mirror. Don't fucking look away. Don't look nowhere else. This is your mirror. That's it. You're the only one in there, okay? Come on. Go somewhere you've never been. Reach. Come on. Drive. Come on. Drive. You're nowhere else. Get in that mirror, bro. Come on, get in that mirror. Try. Come on. You're the only one that can win here. Let's go. Try. Four. Come on. Now you can see here throughout this, uh, the exercises here that this, the first rep was that hard. Think about if the first rep was that hard, how is he going to get eight or nine reps, right? And that's exactly what intensity is, right? When I watch my coach work out, um, his, a lot of his sets are like that. The first rep is so hard, you think there's no way he can get five or six or seven reps. And then he does. And so that's how you need to be picking your weights because I am also a victim of this. You just mentally, you think, mm, I can't do it. But you really can do a lot, a lot more than you think. Like here, he probably thought, I'm gonna get one rep. And he didn't, he got a ton of reps. For how slow and hard that was to move the first time, he just kept going. Ready? Drop. More. Shit. More, more. Don't quit. Shit. Up. Do not fucking quit. Let's go. This is it. It's a whole workout. This is everything. The one set that matters. Come on. Drive. Two more. Two more. Two more. Come on, Regan. Ready? Drive. Right there. He says, don't quit on me. Right? That you have to, if you don't have a partner like this, which I get it, it's a different environment, but if you don't have a partner like this, you need to be that 
guy in your head and you need to say, do not quit. You're going again. You're going again. One thing that really helps me is when I, before I hit something, I pick how many reps I'm going to do. Like it will be a, a really hard number, but then I'll just say, I'm not leaving this platform, this leg press, this row until I get it. Like I will die where I stand but I will get these reps, you know? And when you leave the gym after a workout like that, you feel so much better. If you train intense, you're gonna grow. Do you think that after this work, leg workout, his legs didn't get anything from that? If you did, you're high. Like, I don't know, I can't help you. I literally can't. Come on, let's go, drive. Yes, those are working. Come on, good, look at this, magic, come on, good. Come on! I'm gonna drop the 10. Come on, hold it. Here you have Regan again, right? That's 35 pounds per side. I've seen multiple people in the gym do 35, 35 pounds per side. It's hilarious, they do it wrong, they think they're huge, and they're not. Regan's arms are like 21, 22 inches, and he's using 35 pounds a side. If it's heavy enough for Regan, it's way too heavy for you. <laughs> That's another thing is train intense, but use the right weight. A lot of you guys in the gym use way too much weight because you're ego lifting and it looks stupid and you'll look stupid forever because you'll never get bigger. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out here, out here. Good. Try. Good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Good. As you watch this set, how many people, if any, ever have you seen work out their arms like that in the gym? And guys love arms. Everybody loves working out arms, and that's what makes it even more of a highlight point to me, is that everybody likes working out arms, yet I have seen maybe a handful of people ever train their arms like that. It's insane, right? That's how you need to train everything. Your arms, your calves, your back, your chest, your legs. It needs to be intense. You need to go and you need to push yourself to the limit. It's just plain and simple. If you want to grow, you got to be intense. I get people come up to me and say like, how do I get my, reg my legs to grow? Yours are big, blah, 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 whatever. And I tell them, you have to be more intense because I've seen a lot of these people work out and I'm not trying to be mean to them, I'm just trying to tell them what they need to hear, you're not going hard enough. And then what do they do? In their head, they're like, oh, well, your genetics are great, or oh, like, ew, eat, eat it, dude. Like, no, you're dumb. If you saw my fan, like, I can't even, I'm gonna get too heated. But the point is, your legs will never grow past the 14 inches that you have if you, you, if you think like that. And the thing is, just gonna say this plain and simple, if that's how you think, you're going to be a loser, not just in the gym, but in life, if that's how you think. If you think, I can't have this because of that, or I can't have that because of that, if you're good at making excuses for yourself, you'll never have anything and you'll be complacent throughout life, and I promise you that. You will be a loser, because that's a loser's mindset. I literally get nervous before I go to the gym because in the mornings I review my workout and I see what's coming up and I know it's gonna hurt and I know it's gonna suck. Like I said before, the gym is not supposed to be fun. The gym is supposed to be a place you go to grow. Even more so now, now that I'm in the gym training, right? I'm not just working out, I'm training for a show next year. I am so focused and I have so much intent on what I'm doing in the gym and I know what needs to be done. And every workout I know in my head, like this is one closer. And if I don't go as hard as I can, then when the shows roll around next year and I don't place the way I wanted to, it's all my fault. I hope this video was actually able to get some of you guys to see what intense training looks like. I'm sure, you know, unfortunately a lot of you guys probably haven't seen intense training. And if you're around the culture or the environment of do less or do less with more or like, uh, train hard, train smarter, not harder. If you're around that all the time, that's your group of friends, that's what you watch online, that's what you feed into, then you've never seen anyone work out intense. And I promise you, the, the best thing about all the advice I give you guys is try it for a month, try it for two months. That's not the rest of your life. Give it a shot and then come back to me with a genuine review. There's a reason that all these big dudes 
reach new heights. And I know you're gonna say drugs, that's not it, because does it help them? Sure does, yes, I'm not gonna deny that. But do they, do you train like that? Do your friends train like that? Regan, I promise you train like that naturally. I promise you. Because you don't get bigger without showing your body a reason to grow. And that's why these guys continue to push new heights. Not just him, I've seen that. Plenty of natural people do the same thing. They continue to push new heights because they continue to push their body to the limit. Having said that guys, you just, the, if you take one thing away from this is you need to go there. You need to go there mentally and physically. You need to push yourself there. You need to do the hard stuff. Do the hard stuff guys and I'll see you next time.